Hello and welcome to a Robot Varnak Woodworking video. Today's uh, video is going to talk about the ordinary wood plane. Yes, there's planes of different shapes and sizes for different purposes, but we're just talking about the wood plane in general. Uh, does the old-fashioned wood plane still have a, a place in, in your wood shop or shop? Uh, let me know in the comments how often do you use a wood plane these days. Uh, let me know in the comments. Most most people would think the wood plane is a thing of the past, especially now we have belt sanders and sanding machines. You would think the wood plane is a thing of the past and not really useful in today's uh, day and age. And uh, well, think about it. The wood plane needs uh, lots of maintenance. You have to keep the blade sharp. You have to keep the whole thing clean and. If you have a basement shop or something, the thing can get rusty and you have to keep it clean and otherwise it'll stain the wood. And if you keep it too oily, the oil could stain your wood and all that too. So overall the wood plane just needs a lot of upkeep. And that's why today I'm going to be showing you how to replace and help, uh, put, help, help uh, put the wood plane on a display shelf is an antique more than a useful item so today's project you will need a sanding disc of different sizes and uh, what, what grit you use is up to you but this is an 80 grit sandpaper so most people would use the wood plane to remove saw marks from the edge of wood for example most people would use the wood plane to smooth the, the saw marks when the saw, you get the little marks from the saw blade. So most people would use the plane for that. But uh, using 80 grit sandpaper, they'll remove those saw marks just as well without the all the upkeep and maintenance of a old fashioned plane. So you'll need a piece of masonite, small piece of plywood, and a small scrap piece of wood big enough to go over the edge. So this is about two inches, so most three quarter inch uh, stock will go over this. The basic idea is that the when the project is complete, you'll see that when you slide this up over your piece of wood it'll sand it instead of using the wood plane so let's get started it's a real simple project folks anybody can do this in their home so it's about six inches wide to so three inches should be just fine Just a reminder that's public domain music playing by the way. So once the project is done, you'll see when it's done, you'll be completed right before your very eyes. a six inch standing disc so you want the piece to be roughly like that so next cut this piece of wood So center your piece of wood like that and center the pieces like that. So you're going to drill two holes here and here for the drill press. Actually, 
start using the sanding this right away by sanding out the sanding pieces. A couple pieces of masonite there so you have that overhang so when the sandpaper's there when you're sliding it across your piece like the plane it'll stay centered on the sandpaper. So you need four pieces. You make it slightly smaller. So you see they're roughly divided into four different pieces. Sand the pieces, sand the pieces smooth on the edges there. Uh, this idea was actually submitted to one of the popular wood magazines, but it was rejected. So I guess the wood magazines are want to help sell their advertisers products so which is probably why this was rejected because uh, bad for business they show their readers how to uh, eliminate a sponsor's product Take the four pe four pieces, smooth them out. And since this is something you'll be handling your hands, make sure you round off the edges. You don't want to get splinters on your hands, so round off the sharp corners, you don't want to get splinters an infected wound could, uh, could become infected and be bad so make sure you round the corners and keep it smooth so you won't hurt yourself woodworking is supposed to be a safe enjoyable hobby, not a trip to the hospital Chances are you might have seen some uh, mystery words appearing at the bottom of the screen. Those are the mystery contest. You put the words together and send a message to tell me what the whole message was and you can win a woodworking prize. Yeah, put those words together and form the secret sentence. You win a woodworking prize, but you have to watch the whole video to see all the words. So. Uh, watch to the end and for another special shop tip as well. So as you can see it's coming together now. You can actually make this double sided. Have a rougher grit on one side and a smoother grit on the other. For example this will be 80 grit and maybe 120. So that'll help keep the sandpaper centered in there like that. So now the next thing to do is to glue the pieces of masonite. Glue the pieces of masonite to the pieces of plywood. 
Make sure you keep your side references readable. B, since there's only two sides, if one is A, then this other one has to be B. And since masonite is kind of smooth, the sand roughen the one of the edges for the glue. So hold the glue better. So I'll put the clamps on there like that. About three clamps per side, so you want to need uh, nine nine clamps in total. The glue dries on the pieces you could smooth out too or better yet use a damp rag and remove the glue squeeze out so it looks nice you want to keep it as smooth as possible that's one side done now you do the other side Just a reminder that that's public domain music playing in the background, public domain. Yeah, because you know, it's a lot about the wood plane. A lot of the woodworking magazines and books all show these people using wood planes in their shops. And do you do actually do that? Let me know. While we're waiting for the clamps to dry, let's uh, show these special uh, bonus. Uh, shop tip idea for storage and organization in your shop chances are you use some of these plastic bottles at home and you probably just throw them out but you don't think you could you make them into a useful uh, organizer so here's how you do it you just cut the cut the bottle of the bottle off and when you cut the bottle of the bottle off you have a little uh, uh, little bin Like that, folks. See, now you have a little useful bin. You could keep uh, pencils, or if you're working on a project, you can keep the hardware in there.
because some of the bottles have plastic wrapping on them like this and when you take the wrapping off the trademark information is removed and you have a possibly colorful little bin to use in your shop for storage and organization uh, the glue is probably set good enough for it to show you how this uh, is setting up So A and B, so there you see the, so now you take your sanding disc, since this is a size I no longer have anymore, you can just wrap around like that, and the beauty of the self-adhesive ones is so if you have old sanding discs that are different, too small than the sander you have anymore, uh, this might be the idea for you. So just uh, glue the thing on there, overlap them like so. Covered up the holes. So, well, I'll just drill the holes again. You have a roughly good idea of where it's centered in there. If the sandpaper comes up like that on one side, you could just cut it off. That's what the masonite is there for, folks, to avoid the edge of the sandpaper like that. See how the sand the, the sander will glide over the edge. So yeah, be be careful about uh, making the reference marks there. You'll be able to find the holes again. <laughs> For this project, you want to use round screws so they won't cut you. Yeah, what are you using when you're using the sanding, improved sanding block? Yeah, that pine is soft enough, you don't even need the pilot holes. There's a lot of uh, the old woodworking books show the wood plane was used for removing mill marks and defects in wood. Back in the old days before we had new belt sanders. So let's say this is a piece of wood you want to smooth and as you can see the masonite keeps the stock centered on the sandpaper. So now in a few strokes you can Get uh, your wood smooth the same way you would with a wood plane and without the all the maintenance of a wood plane. So 
that's it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what you think of today's video, and if you like these kind of videos or not, so that's the end.